Sasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, crank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? It's Tasha, and I'm back with another solo video. It's kind of solo, kind of not. Today, I am doing uh, eating my wife's favorite color. Food. Eating food, that's my wife's favorite color. That's what I'm doing. All right, so give it to him, baby. Let's get into the video. All right, so I think you guys saw earlier um, in the video Stephanie making the meal. Did you show them? They saw something. Oh. Okay, y'all saw something, but I haven't seen anything. I've been in the room all day long hoping that I felt better, but I feel great now. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to close my eyes and wait for my food, yellow food to get here. You see I got on the yellow hat, yellow shirt. And so basically this was really a challenge for me, you guys. I had to come up with a meal of all yellow foods. Yes. Okay, Tasha has no idea what I have. Nope. And watch tomorrow's video because I'm making my favorite color pink for Stephanie. First, you have. Do I open my eyes? Yeah, you can open your eyes. This is homemade lemonade. Okay, see? Ice I love lemonade. So this is wonderful. Why didn't I think you were making lemonade? Nope. No, because I saw a bunch of lemons, y'all, and I still. Oh, she got me a yellow straw. Okay. Can I taste my lemonade? Yes. Now, the lemonade is. Mostly sugar free. Uh -huh. It's mostly monk fruit. Uh huh. So Did you put a little sugar in it? It tastes good though, yeah. I got scared at the end, so I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's too long. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. it's good. You put a little bit of sugar in it? I put a little sugar in it because I got nervous. Oh, you didn't have to put sugar it's in good? it. It's good? Heck yeah. yeah. This is delicious. I'll leave this here in case you want. No, like my waiter, fill me oh, up, please. Oh, excuse, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll let you sip on that as I... Oh, Y'all, yeah. this lemonade is delicious. <laughs> mm. Ooh. You know what's sweet? We don't do sugar. How much sugar do you put in? It don't matter. We She probably didn't put a lot of sugar because we don't really do sugar. We do monk fruit. But it's still tangy like I need it to be. It's like eating a, a lemon candy, a lemon head. That's what it tastes like. This is probably the best lemonade I've ever had. So your first side dish. Oh, I got a side dish. This was a no-brainer for me. Okay. Tasha loves this vegetable, you guys, and it was oh. yellow. So yes. There you go. Squash. Yes, baby. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, look. Yes, I love squash, you guys. Yes, zucchini squash. Thank you. Thank you. Love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm, it's hot. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Mm. Next up. Hold up. Mm -mm -mm. My baby be over here doing the most. That's what I'm talking about. Get you a stay. Another one of your favorites, but I made sure I had made it yellow. Ooh, mashed potato. Oh, let me let y'all see it up close. <laughs> Maybe some yellow mashed potato. How do you make this yellow? I just put a little food color. Oh, okay. You didn't need a lot because it's, it's already almost yellow, you know, so that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm about to eat this before I even get my main. So we have two types. She doing chicken. a lot, y'all. Look at it. Okay. Honey mustard chicken and lemon pepper. Ooh. And then we got the sauces for you. Ooh. Bow. Bye, y'all. <laughs> oh, and she gave me a little yellow. Oh, I need to do my thumbnail, huh? My, oh my. I'm about to kill this. I bet Stephanie want to eat this, too. All right, y'all. I just did my thumbnail. Whew, that I did not I did not feel like doing, okay? I just wanted to eat my food. Nah, I'll hold this. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Ooh, that is tangy. I want to tear this up. 
Oh. I'm gonna eat. Yeah, you hot, baby? Mm. You hot? No, that's that lemonade. The same as hell. Mm. <laughs> it's perfect for me. Mm mm mm. I don't have no topic. I might get one because you probably need one. Mm hmm. Cool. Because, <laughs> uh. I'm eating. Mm hmm. Oh. She got some bell peppers in here, y'all. I didn't see that. Yep. Yellow bell peppers. Look. Mmm. Mmm. I don't think I've ever had a yellow, little yellow bell pepper. Not that I can recall. Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, so hot. Good. <laughs> Ooh. Mm mm mm. Mm, and how can I? Oh. I'm setting the best for last. Well, I don't know what the best is, honestly. <laughs> mm. Did you simply food by T.Y. Lemon Pepper or no? Yeah, I did. Mm. So, shout out to T.Y. Simply food by T.Y. Shout out to Simply Food by T.Y. I don't think he's selling it yet. He's not, he's not selling oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. I hope it's okay that we saying it. Love you. Somebody just told me today how to do this. To pull a wing apart. Oh my gosh. Y'all need to have Stephanie's, um, y'all need to have her honey mustard wings. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I don't even want y'all to have it because then somebody gonna be trying to marry her. Never mind. She can't cook. <laughs> Mm mm mm. Y'all. I'm gonna do my best not to stuff myself. This was so fun to me. What color oh. should we try next? Mm mm mm. mm. Like, sometimes, a lot of times we do like silly stuff, but to make something like good mm. was fun. Mm mm mm. I'm sure you have a fun time eating. Mm hmm. <laughs> Simply Food by T.Y. and Stephanie. You like it? Yes. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm <laughs> it's so good. It tastes so real. Mm. Mm 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 mm. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I want to tear these potatoes up. I ain't gonna do that to my I don't want to um you know, I'm not doing low carb. Y'all know. Oh yeah. But I don't want to do high carb. Mm -hmm. Cause yesterday we killed it with the carbs. We sure did. Mhm. Mm oh, that was enough carbs for a week. Mhm. -mm. Don't play me. You gonna have to go on and get on here. Mhm. -mm. <laughs> I didn't think you gonna like those lemon that much. Yeah, cause I wasn't. I didn't used to be a big lemon pepper person, right. but um, after trying it so many times, this one tastes dip. This one, real lemon pepper, yeah. is good. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh my god. Oh, you need to eat one. Oh, Chelsea already had, but oh we no, 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 it's fine. We can act like I haven't mm. tried it yet. Mm -hmm. Now what I did for my sauce is I use uh, like I said, Ty's lemon pepper. And then a little butter and lemon zest and lemon juice. Mm. And man, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. Right? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's good. Oh my. Oh mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can't nobody tell me nothing. It's perfect too. I like his lemon pepper. It's not super salty. Mm-hmm. It's more peppery. It's definitely lemon pepper. Yeah. Mm. Mm-mm. I'm completely ignoring these, but you are. Mm-hmm. Well, but I love them. Like those, right? Yeah, I'm i I'm saving them for him kinda on purpose. I feel bad. 
Cause I know your food ain't about to be like this. <laughs> oh, damn. I know you're not gonna enjoy your food like I'm gonna. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna think it's fine. Oh no, I'm gonna read the topic, you guys. So, if you wanna send this topic, please send it to Steph and Tasha on Instagram. I'm gonna try one more. Honey mustard. She said, I've been married for one year now, and it was arranged by my dad. I'm getting settled in really well, but I want to know what's right to ask and what's not. For example, we seem to argue a lot about money. I asked once if I could have my name on his bank card, so it's a joint account, and he seemed pissed. Mm. He didn't want to go ahead with it. Is that normal? Also, I just got my maintenance. I, don't, I think she meant loan, but it says my maintenance Leon from Jay and I. I and think now, it's a loan. Yeah. Now suddenly he's all happy and want to do a joint account, so the money's in both our names. Mm-hmm. I'm confused. Mm-hmm. Also, do you guys have any tips tips on how to calm men down? He always seems to have a temper, even when I'm saying something as a joke. He's always pissed off. Mm -hmm. Do you think it has anything to do with the age gap? I'm 20 and he's 28. Please let me know in your video what advice you can give me and any tips on how to move forward as a couple oh without God. all the petty arguments. Y'all, I just dropped some food, for, I guess, from my mouth into this. I don't even care. I'm still going to drink it. It's that good. <laughs> and I'm going to finish my chicken. Okay, I, I, I want to say one thing about him real quick. It might have nothing to do with you. He doesn't seem happy. I'll tell you that. He doesn't seem happy within himself. He seems like the type of person that, um, okay, when it comes to money, he might not even intentionally be like, oh, she got this money so now i love her no he it probably just made him happy because maybe he maybe he's struggling as far as when it comes to money you know men sometimes feel so responsible for everything and that's a hard or heavy weight on him if that's the case so now that you got a little bit of money he's like oh okay well yeah we got excuse me yeah we can have a joint account because now she got some money or he could just hate your effing guts but now that you got some money he like cool i don't think that's what i think he's unhappy period Go ahead, babe. What I got to say, first of all, if I um, suggested or asked would somebody want to have a joint account and they were like mad, but then when I came up on some money, they was all like, ooh, let's do a joint account. I, that would be a red flag for me. Mm -hmm. You want to share my shit, but not your shit? Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely get that account in my own name. I wouldn't share anything with him. Mm -hmm. You already in the marriage now because uh, I know that she's Indian because I looked her up. I know mm. they do a lot of arranged marriages, so she probably so she was stopped. very committed to that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. she, like for me, I'd be like, "What is shit?" You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But she, I'm sure she's very committed to the marriage. Mm -hmm. I'll keep my shit separate. Um, I'm sorry. If he's if he's a lot, cause I don't know how it is in Indian marriages when it's arranged. I feel like the men, but not in all, cause we watched that show. That what was the show called? A lot of the, lot of the, men, were in lot of the men are kind of um, in control. Yeah, there are a lot of men in control of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe you can kind of set a tone and not let him be in control because I don't think that all of them I guess it depends on who you are have that, person have that personality where they will you know treat you horribly, but right. who knows if he's mean He's probably mean exactly. this is the first year. I hate him Exactly. This is their first year of marriage. He's already being mean. I he's like eight years older than you He better be happy that somebody eight years old younger than him boy. You better sit what was that shit called? I wish I knew the, story, the name of the um, the show. So there's an Indian matchmaking show. I believe it's on Netflix, y'all. I watched the whole season in one day. I love that mm -hmm. show so much. It just taught me a lot about something that I didn't know a lot about. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I did notice is that the men do have a lot of control. A lot of the men that were being set up were like going through hundreds and hundreds of women and mm -hmm. being super duper picky. But it's like, what about you? What are you bringing to the table? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like the women got to go. When they pick them, the women got to go for it. There were some women that were very strong and were like, you know, they were the people that were looking for matches because they didn't put up with everything. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's more in general. The, men. the women are more, you know, just like waiting. On are the women people. able to talk to their fathers like, hey, I don't like this guy or hey, this guy's they treating are, me? They are, but if they're there's one guy who like really, really was controlling his his daughter. Mm -hmm. And he was like mad when she didn't want a certain man and mad at the certain guy that she wanted. It's like they have a certain thing in their head they want them to marry. And I understand that, but do they still, do they want their daughters to be unhappy? No, they don't care. They don't care. No. What do they care about? A man that's going to provide for their daughter? Yeah. A man with a good family name, with a good job, looks a certain way. Okay. Very specific um, look preferences. Okay. Yeah. So, that I mean, sucks, but she said she was kind of settling in, right? She said 
she's 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 in a sense not forcing herself to settle in but kind of yeah because yeah. you you don't want to be with a man she, that's yeah sorry, sorry. she literally is settling mm -hmm. that's what she doing she's about to probably be unhappy if you're unhappy i hate that first year I, I think it's probably not gonna get better yeah you're probably gonna either be very submissive or maybe you might end up leaving him I, they can't leave. Oh, yeah, no, they get some of get divorces, but it's very tabloid. Mm -hmm. They get a divorce. I wish it wasn't like that. I, I not to say I don't like the culture. I like the culture. I don't like some of the things that um that you guys have to do. I don't like it. I mean, I can I can say what I want. I don't I don't like that the women are the ones that are being forced to do. I mean, the men are being forced too, kind of. Yeah. The man don't want to be, not always want to be with the woman either. That's probably why he's unhappy. Maybe he was in love with somebody else and his parents forced him to be with you. Exactly. That's they were like, oh, you're 28. It's time for you to be married. You're waiting too long, you know? Right. Uh, I have another suggestion. Since it feels like, it seems like you are kind of bound to this man now. Try to find out and I'm only saying this because I feel like you're in a sense stuck. Mm -hmm. Try to find out what he likes. Try to find out what makes him happy. Not something that's going to compromise your whole entire personality and your whole entire being, but find out what you guys have in common and try to bring those things up a lot. Try to have those things so you, maybe you guys can form a real relationship. You can't form a relationship with somebody that something your, your dad picked, but it's very easy unless, I mean, not very easy. It's common that people that are around each other for a certain amount of time will grow feelings for each other. Now, if, excuse me, they have things in common, I think it'll come even quicker. So, and, and not being forced, not feeling forced, try to find those common things you guys have and talk. Talk about it. Talk to him. That is, a really, that is really good advice. I would have never said that, but I think that is actually really good advice. I'm, I'm petty and bitter. Yeah, it's definitely petty. I am petty too, but I feel like she's not gonna. She's not. We're saying whatever, but she's not gonna leave. So, oh, you talking about you would be with him and just live your own life? I mean, if I felt like I was so committed to my family's beliefs that we should be married, yeah. That's what I'm saying. A if lot I of. Um, can you um not take my lemonade, please? Oh, I'm gonna give you a little more. Oh, you're definitely not walking away my lemonade. I love it. Yeah, I think that um. Especially if you guys are going to have kids at some point, you want your children to be happy. If you're not happy, your children will not be happy either. Trust me, they're going to see the unhappiness in your face. So you want to be happy with this man. Do everything you can to make your relationship good, but not by doing everything he says. By finding commonalities that you guys share and exploring them. Let him see them too, not just you. So you're over here loving him, but he's not loving you. You done? I'm done. Okay. I forgot my dessert. Even though I know you really don't like lemon stuff. Like cornbread? This is a... A, a lemon yellow, bar? This is a yellow dessert. A yellow dessert. Okay. okay. Mm. So, homemade, almost sugar-free lemon bar. <laughs> almost sugar-free. I, I put a touch of sugar in them too because I was nervous. Ooh. Now, this is Stephanie's mom's favorite. Hi, mom. My mom, too. This is her favorite. I want her to try those because there's really not a lot of sugar in it. Mmm. Okay, you homemade? Mm hmm This top part? Everything. Okay. Even the bottom part. Mm, I know that. Oh, okay. Mmm, this is ze very lemon zesty. <laughs> this tastes like a real tr dessert. I mean, it is a real dessert. You made it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. it. You tasted it? Yeah. Mmm. I've been tasting all night. <laughs> Ash. Mm hmm Oh. Oh, boy. This is great. This is delicious. This is delicious. Yes. Mmm. I feel so, so sorry for my wife. Because her meal is not going to be like this. Not at all. Mmm. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. I can't eat no more of that. Mmm. Mmm. Tell them bye, baby. Bye, y'all. Mmm. Mother sucker. <laughs> Woo, this shite was good, babe. Yeah. The only reason why I didn't eat that because I just wanted to save it for Elijah just so he could eat on that.